Good Monday morning. At least it is if you're watching this live. It is a blue sky, sunny day in Calgary, Alberta, where I live. And I'm feeling wonderfully alive. This morning I was reading an old copy of The Daily Word, a publication published by Unity, the worldwide organization that has a mission to in awaken humanity to its uh, brilliance and to live in unity and harmony with one another. And the word for January 4th was zeal. I come alive through the power of zeal. And as I was reading this, I thought, of course, of the fourth pillar of the Shindao, elevate your spirit. Ask what makes you come alive and go do it because what the world needs is people who have come alive. In whatever situation you find yourself, recall these empowering words. Ask yourself, when do you feel the most joy? What inspires you with zeal and enthusiasm? The answer may be a variety of interests, travel, meeting new people, learning a new sport or a hobby or more. When you follow your passion and actively do things that make you feel enthusiastic and accomplished, you align with spirit. With faith, you could joyfully affirm, I come alive through the power of zeal. And as I said, this just made me think about the fourth pillar, elevate your spirit. I can't think of a better way to elevate your spirit than to do things that you love to do, to be with people you love to be with, to embrace life with this sense of gusto, of, of full aliveness, of zeal. That is the word, to approach life with zeal and enthusiasm to look for ways to find beauty and to feel joy in your heart and allow that to flow out into the world. This is living the Shindao, the way of the heart. Living from our heart, living with love and joy and enthusiasm and letting that flow out into the world. We're at peace when we feel good about who we are. That is an inspiring of our mind, of being in that place of, of positive self-talk. That is the second pillar, inspire your mind. Elevate your spirit is, yeah, doing what you love and being with people you love and loving life itself. So that's my message for today. Live by that fourth pillar. Elevate your spirit. Do whatever makes you feel fantastic. And remember the word zeal as a way to help you be in that space. I thank you for tuning in. I thank you for sharing this video if you're called. And um, I certainly have zeal and enthusiasm about our women's nurture circles here in Calgary. We have a circle tomorrow night, Tuesday, March 5th, where I will be leading a beautiful closed eye dance journey. It's a healing experience that is just wonderful. Certainly elevate your spirit. And then next week, Wednesday, March 13th, we have a tag team of Michelle and Carmen bringing us the emotion code and aromatherapy and some other ways to release unwanted emotions. That will elevate your spirit. Certainly our focus for this mm, month. No, it's the focus for my life. Let's be honest. Love you again. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for sharing if you're called. Mwah. Oh, and a little bit more zeal and enthusiasm. Tonight, Unity of Calgary is hosting a comedy fundraiser at the Comedy Cave. Tickets are only $25. You get a $15 um, tax donation receipt for that. And it's going to be a night of laughs. Ten amateur amateur comedians, people through who've stepped up from the Unity community, 10 brave comedic souls. I did this a couple of years ago myself. I know how much fun it is. 
uh, invite you if you don't have plans for your Monday evening and you're in Calgary to come on downtown to the Comedy Cave. Show starts at 7.30, doors open at 6. You can have a nice meal there first, meet some great people, and then have a, a few great laughs to elevate your spirit. Love you. Mwah. Namaste. I see you.